Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy NBM, back at it and we in full effect. I know it's been seven months, so it's say. I have been going live, so if you haven't caught it, go check it out, man. We was just messing around. But everything is official, camera up. We about to be going live, man. I feel like I should go live more than I give y'all videos. You let me know what you think in the comments. If you don't say nothing, then I'ma pick and choose on my own, all right? So check it out, man. Today I'm about to show y'all how to tap into them 808s and how to make the 808 kick a lot harder than what you're looking for. You may see this on YouTube everywhere, but trust me, this one is gonna make sure you're in full effect. So let's jump into it, let's get it. All right, so let's get it. Look, we're gonna get the beat going first and then we're gonna tap into the 808. So let's get the sound right first and then we'll do the 808. I just made this track, so I haven't really did no mixing, but I wanted to get it to where the 808 stands out a little bit so you guys can hear it, all right? But this is what we're working with right now. Let me let me bring everything. Let me just bring everything in real quick. Okay, so look. First thing I'm gonna tell you is if you have a snare and it is, we well, I'll, get to, I'll tell you this too. So if you got a snare and just remember your snare is in stereo right now. So your kick, your, your 808 and snare, hi-hat and all that is supposed to shoot straight up the middle. So you do wanna put that in mono. So what I, what I tend to do is, so since I haven't put any, uh, turn these in, in the wave files what I'm gonna do is let's see so what we're working on is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna definitely take the kick let's take the kick and put it in mono so let's bounce this down to a new all right so we have to bounce that down to a new track and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to hide this one so now we got the snare in uh, mono now. Well, it's not mono. We got to turn it to mono by clicking stereo right here to mono. Now we got mono. So let me just start off by putting my hi-hat also in mono as well. So we're going to get to the 808, but I just want to show you guys that having this in mono makes everything sound better. It don't sound cluttered. So let's go ahead and take the hi-hats. All right, so we got the hi-hat. Now let's hide the first one. And then what I'm going to do is turn that to mono as well. <laughs> Now remember I haven't mixed it, I haven't put anything on them, um, as you can see. So I'm gonna do the open hi-hat as well. Let's just go straight to that and put that in mono as well. I'm gonna hide it, close that up. Now we're gonna turn this into mono. <laughs> Now, what I tend to do too is with like the voices and stuff like that, I will turn it to mono as well because, you know, when we're mixing our vocals, we're mixing it in mono. So, therefore, that is a vocal. So, I will put that in mono. Now, we're going to get to the 808. So, this is the 808 right now without any plugins on it, without any gain stage and anything like that. So that is the 808 without any effects on it. And um, as you can see at the end of the 808, it has a click. Watch, listen. See so you hear it right there. So that's what we're gonna tend to clean up the 808. So let's start off by 
So the first thing you want to do is you definitely want to put your 808 mono. So I'm going to bounce this. To so I'm going to bounce it to a new track. And then I'm going to turn this to mono. And I'm going to hide this 808 now. Bam. So now we have this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gain stage this. I'm going to make sure that is in the middle, which it is. So in order to gain stage in Studio One, you can actually hit the little Allerance tool right here and then go click input controls on your uh, channel components. Boom. Now you got your inputs. So now what we're going to do is we are going to crank that down a little bit. So what I just did right now was gave myself some headroom to play around with the plugins that I am going to put on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this 808 by using a Pro EQ. You can use any EQ, you can use any EQ if you whatever you got, you can use it. So let's go Pro EQ. All right. So what I like to do is that little click you hearing is what we're going to be getting rid of. Wait a minute. Hold on. What's going on here, Mike? I'm trying to figure out what just happened here. Oh man, what the hell? Hold on, we got to do some bagging out. I don't know what just happened, bro. All right, so my 808 disappeared. Jeez. Wait a minute. Here go the 808, okay. All right, so we do have the 808. All right, now let me try this again. I think I had this one clicked as well. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, so let's go here. Bounce to a new track. Okay. All right, we good now. So let's put this in mono. All right, cool. So there we go. Now, like I said, we're going to gain stage. Like I said, what I did right there was just give myself some headroom. So we're going to start off by cleaning it. So let's go to insert, add a pro EQ. Now, this is where it was tripping off at. Let's see what's going on. All right, we good now. So this is our pro EQ. Now let's play it. Now that little click you hear, we're gonna clean that right now by rolling off some of that top. Boom. So you don't hear it as much. And then the next thing I like to do is around 65 Hertz, I like to put a split there to kind of clean that area a little bit as well. So I'm gonna go with the mid frequency bar. I'm gonna take this, let's take it off of K. And do 65 boom now you want to take the cue all the way up and we're just going to slice down that middle a little bit all right so we got that in order so the next plugins make sure you got them is by plugin alliance because this is what i use so Therefore, this is what's going to get it up. There's a lot of other plugins you can use to do this, but I like these two in particular because they just make it sound good. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Plugin Alliance. And then we're going to use the Shadow Hill Mastering plugin. Now, with this plugin, we ain't going to touch nothing. We're just going to bring up the optical threshold, and that's it. And we want to make sure it bounces around negative two. That's fine right there. So we ain't got. So we don't have nothing to match what's going on right now. The 808 just sound drowned out. 
So what we just did right there is give ourselves a little bit more space to push this 808 the way we want to when we put <clears throat> a uh, distortion on there. So next plugin is gonna be by Plugin Alliance again. I'm gonna click here, go back to Plugin Alliance. I'm gonna use the black box. This bad boy right here is crazy. So we're gonna hit in and out, tube and air. So we're gonna start pushing it. So we had that. Let's see where it is with the track. And just imagine, this ain't even like fully mixed. And man, you know what I'm saying? So the next plugin I am going to use is a clipper. We're going to put a soft clipper on there. You can use any soft clipper you got, but I like to use, uh, what is it? I can either use initial, but I like the TR5 classic uh, clipper. This one sounds really good. I'm gonna take the slope, slide it back to about negative 7.2 maybe. And then from there, we're just gonna work with the gain. I like to hit about uh, negative three. That's about it. I don't go no further than that. <laughs> So you can see that using that soft clipper, I'm not getting any clipping with the 808. Now my 808 can hit as hard as I want it to. And then from there, I'll start adding um, ozone and stuff like that to put a, um, man, what is it called, man? Hold on, man. We got to get there. That weed, man. Azotope, ozone, let's go ozone nine. And this is how you pretty much get to push, you get to push your track this way a whole lot. And then I also use a bus compressor on my uh, main output as well. I don't know what's taking it so long, but it's taking long. Y'all be patient, all right, we gotta be patient. Hope it don't crash. <laughs> Man, so True Peak. Uh oh. So I turn on True Peak, and then from there, I click on this. As you can see, my voice may not be changing to y'all, but it is to me. I'm gonna take this to 105. So, and also when you're um, when you're mixing, you want to definitely pay attention. You want to pay attention to this uh, vector scope. You want to pay attention to this meter because you want to make sure it's shooting up the middle, and you want to make sure it's not. You know, you got having a bad uh, phase issue right here. So you definitely want to look at this and make sure it's shooting up. Some instruments are going to be stereo spreaded, so you know you can't you can't stop that. <music> That's how you tune your 808 to make it kick hard, man. And then when you mix your track and you start blending it in, it's going to be crazy. It's your boy, MBM. Man, short tutorials. This one probably ain't going to be short, but hey, I'm bringing them to you. We back, baby. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. I will be having up a beat page where you guys can go and leave some tracks. Man, rap, get it cracking, man. Get that platinum sound. So let's get it, man. It's your boy, MBM. I'm out.